Okay, they are sensational, but 1,000 degrees. Can't hear. Good afternoon, actually. Um, welcome back to my channel. I look insane, but I thought we would do a weekly vlog because I haven't done one in ages, although it is starting on Wednesday. <laughs> so it's Wednesday to Sunday kind of vlog, but they're the best days anyway. Who likes a Monday and a Tuesday? You do nothing on those days. So I'm starting the week off here on Wednesday afternoon. I've been to work, I came home and then I had a nap. My hair is looking wild because now I've just washed it and gonna quickly air wrap it because I'm doing something really fun tonight but I feel like I might explain it once I look a bit better so be right back. And I am ready. I'm looking a lot more presentable now. Um, I kind of went for in between air wrapped and straightened hair because I didn't want to air wrap it because I didn't weirdly want the big bounce, but I didn't want it flat to the head either. So I kind of went in between. Don't know if I managed it that well, but we attempted. Um, I also need to put a little bit of lip liner on, but I want to save that till the last minute so I can just have lip balm on for now. Um, but yeah, what I am actually going to is I'm going to an event in Manchester called On Wednesdays and it's set up by my lovely friends Imogen and Charlie and basically the kind of premise of it is that once a month on a Wednesday they are setting up these little events so people can come along, make friends, try something new, um, just you know, one for the girls because it's it's hard in your 20s to sometimes make some, some friends so, or even just try something new. So I think it's a really cute idea. So I'm going along to support that. I'm actually already friends with them. So maybe I'll make some new ones. Um, but we're going to do pottery. Now I've done pottery twice and I've made a bowl before and I've made a jug before. I've actually shown um, the vlog, the vlog, this before. But I'll show you. I'll show you again. I think it's a really cute idea. Um, but I'm hoping to do a mug this time. That's not, that's what's on the agenda. That's what I really like to do. But the last few times I went, I'm pretty sure there was no mugs, which is the reason why I didn't do one. Why am I out of breath? Um, so yeah, that's what I'm hoping to do anyway. I'm going to finish my diet coke, and I've actually finished way before I thought. Well, I don't think I have to leave for like half an hour. Um, so I might try and catch up on a bit of Love Island, even though I'm not particularly enjoying it that much. But it's one of them where Brad won't want to watch it, so he won't, like, be bothered if I sit and watch it. And I can't really watch anything else because Brad wants to watch that with me and he's at work. Um, so, yeah. Gonna go to that. Nothing else I do here will be that inspiring. So, oh, you can semi-see my new curvy mirror. Shall I show you? Quick. But you'll have to excuse my washing, that will be in the way. I think I can kind of hide my washing actually. Um, my washing's behind me, this is my new curvy mirror. I actually got it Brad for his birthday, so yeah. As it's quite chilled vibes I think, I'm just going to go in my hoodie and um, my flares. I went to work, had a really good day, very productive, got home. I've not been to the gym 
and I've kind of only just woken up and it's 4 p.m. So I think instead of going to the gym, I have some kind of resetting to do of my life. So I'm gonna tidy up the house and just chill. I think my body obviously needs to rest. I don't like not being productive. So need to need to make sure I am. ended the vlog kind of well not ended it I didn't mean to end it at all um I just stopped filming for a bit basically um I'm just making my lunch because the reason is I need to get some ice and that got some spinach got some rocket tomatoes cucumber spring onion mayo and that is all I needed there and some tuna. And anyone guess what they're making? It's not that hard. <laughs> it's a tuna pasta salad. Um, I'm obsessed with tuna pasta salad. Anyway, my whole point of hopping on here was to say, I am sorry, last week, basically it was last week that I was filming, and I managed to do the on Wednesday's events. That was fine. Um, but I didn't really do much else. I think I showed one morning while I was getting up at four. Um, but basically, that week I just felt so like tired. Um, and so I didn't really get much done um, in the evenings. Like I remember on Thursday, I just napped for two hours, which was really unlikely. I think I was just tired. Pasta is done. Um, my weekend should be better because I'm not doing anything. Um, so I should have a lot of time to film, basically what I was trying to get out there and I booked two class passes and I used to get away with if I didn't turn up it didn't charge me even though it's meant to I've just been charged for one because I didn't turn up so I have to turn up to them now because they're they're recognizing that I'm not turning up um annoying <laughs> um but motivation to turn up so I've got two class pass classes at the weekend other than that I'm not really doing much so I can kind of try and film as much as I can. Hopefully I'll have things to film. Um, maybe some nice recipes. I would give you the recipe for this tuna pasta salad, but it's literally spinach, rocket, chopped up tomato, chopped up cucumber, chopped up spring onion, uh, pasta, tuna, and mayo. Really boring, but really into it at the minute. I love tuna pasta salad. Bit rogue going into a new job and taking tuna into the office. I do agree. But as you get older, you just think, fuck it, I don't care. What else have I been up to? We went to watch Poor Things on Monday evening. That's another reason why I didn't have the chance to film, because we were just in the cinema for like literally over two hours, I'm sure it was. Um, so that was long. But it was, it was a good film. Like we went, because it's got loads of nominations. It's all with Emma Stone in. Did I already say that? Um, so, and it had um, that guy that plays the Green Goblin in, is it Spider-Man? Um, something to foe. You know the guy, the really famous actor that I'm, people are probably screaming his name at me at the minute. Um, him and then also, oh fuck, what's his name? Um, oh God, that's going to really bother me. Um, oh my God, he's such a famous actor. Why can I not remember his name? 
things. Mark Ruffalo, that's it. And the guy, other guy's name was William Defoe. Of course. Silly me. There's a little bit of salt in there. Um, so yeah, we watched that. My review, I give it a 6 out of 10, to be honest. I'm not very into like very artsy, indie style films. Like, you know, ones that, I hate to say it, trying a bit hard to be different. <laughs> That's what I got from it anyway. Um, so it's probably harsh. It was quite a good story. It was just very, very weird. And like, a bit too weird at some points. And I was just like, I don't know, but I like going to watch these things. And have I admitted this before? We have a cin cinema membership, so we go watch pretty much everything under the sun. Um, so I do feel like good that I'm always in the know. So if you ever want a movie recommendation, you should come to me. Right. That is done. A salad prepared. I usually like to mix it up, but I can't bother it at the moment to make any more washing up for myself. So that is ready. Is that around three o'clock at work? Good morning everybody, it is Saturday and I am off to my gym class. I really did want to kind of have you here. Um, I saw Brad's little thing to set you up there so you could drive with me. Um, but it would only be in portrait mode because I don't think I'd be able to fit my phone in sideways. I kind of wanted to fit the camera in. Um, so then I could play my own music and we could do a little drive with me. Um, so that's not going to work. So I'm going to have to try and invest in something for future times. Um, but yeah, I'm going to play some good music now um, to get me really in the mood. My, um, my skin looks a bit red. Hmm. Um, but yeah, going to Tribe. It's intense, so I need some intense music to get me ready and going and prepared. But yeah. I'll show you as much as I can, but then I might go to the Chinese supermarket afterwards to um, pick up some bits and I'll show you what they do, of course. So I'm walking back to the car now. Two things on my mind right now. Number one, why is it always raining in Manchester? Always. I always get absolutely drenched on the way to the gym. And number two, why am I always the reddest one in the gym class? Look at me. I'm literally a beetroot. Oh God, this rain's disgusting. Ah. Hey besties. I hope you could hear me in that last clip. I was basically saying that I hate my Manchester rain and I hate being the reddest person in the class. Is there a way that you can kind of stop being as red at gym class? Because I would love to know. Anyway, I really want, I got in the cheap car park. So that's a win. Done my gym class, win. Uh, walked there and back, kind of, from the car park. It was a bit of a 10 minute walk. Win. <laughs> win, win, win. Now I'm at Wing Yip in Ancoats. And the reason I'm here is because we get our oyster mushrooms from here because they're so good. We get, um, I always get crispy chili, but I've got loads at the minute, so I don't need that. We get like noodles. There's like, so many different variations of rice noodle, which is fabulous for me. Things like that. Brad sent me a list of things he wants. I would really, really like some kimchi because I saw this, um, Bit of research at work that came through on IRN, um, which is like a I'm speaking journalist terms here, but you don't need to know what it is, it's just basically something that gives you some news. And um, I saw that kimchi, if you have it once a day, it's really really good for weight loss. And in women, radish kimchi is better, men, cabbage kimchi is better. So we're gonna go try and find some of that, maybe a vegan one for, for Brad's as well. Um, and then possibly stop off at Aldi on the way home because we actually need some other food as well. And that's the plan. Okay, 
I'm what? <laughs> I am finally back home, three shops later. Three shops, let that sink in. And so I have two bags here, and wait. Um, another Aldi bag. Then, we get bag. Tesco bag, new sieve, because I want to make birria tacos later. I don't know if I already said that. Um, and the recipe I saw needs a sieve. Um, what I did see in Tesco, I bought some kimchi and uh, we can get. Ah, so many oyster mushrooms. I'm gonna make oyster mushroom birria tacos. Um, also, if you ever go to Winget, this is the best, best fake chicken. It's delicious. This is the first one I picked up. This kimchi. Um, not vegan. So I thought I'll be selfish and just buy it for myself. Saw this one in the fridge section. So I thought, mm, nice cold crisp. Um, vegan. So now I feel bad for getting that other one. I don't know why I'm doing with chopsticks. Could literally just get a bottle, but. I'm being all fancy. Both of them luckily are gluten free. Saw some of them with wheat. Okay. Mm. It slaps. That one is good. I really enjoy that one. Mmm. That is so good. I'm going to try this one as well. I can't open it. So it is a bit later now. Um, it's actually 20 to 5. Um, I've had a really lazy time downstairs. Me and Brad watched Kill Bill. Oh, I forgot to get him to open the kimchi. Oh, I'll have to do that. Um, we watched Kill Bill. First time I've ever watched it. Um, and I did actually quite enjoy it. A bit gory, a bit weird, but good. Um, and then I had a nap and I've watched Grey's Anatomy and honestly it's been amazing. Sometimes you just need a Saturday like this where you've just been doing absolutely nothing. And uh, I definitely did. But the postman's come now. And some people might recognise this brand, Eternal Muse. Um, and of course, I found them on TikTok. Comes with a clip, two scrunchies, and a heatless um, curler. So I'm going to give that because I've started working out at 4 a.m. I keep seeing this and I keep thinking that would be really handy, I think, and better for my hair if I could just do it the night before. Um, now, I don't want my first attempt to be before I go to work, so I'm going to do it tonight, even though I've got the gym in the morning. Um, I'm going to do it tonight, um, wash my hair, keep it a bit damp, do it, just look at it in the morning, show you the results. Um, but first, I'm going to make some birria tacos, and I'm going to show you a little bit of the process. Here are the birria tacos. 
um, can't lift them because I've got a very saucy pot right here. I'm gonna put some lime on. I'm obsessed with lime and I'm obsessed with um, coriander. So, big fan of tacos. And then, first one, I'm just gonna go in for the dip. Okay, they are sensational, but 1000 degrees. I made these with gluten free wraps. They're vegan. Actually, mine technically aren't vegan because I put normal cheese in, but when I make wraps, his will be using normal vegan cheese, but normal wraps. And I've had gluten free wraps, but normal cheese. That's how we work. Okay, I did think I was done for the night, but then I forgot. I wanted to try out my new um, Eternal Muse hair thingy. Um, I finally tidied up this room a little bit. Sorry, it was a little bit messy in the background before. Well, there we go. I've taken the clip out. Here's what it looks like from the back. Ignore my middle part and if I've done it really bad, but I'm going to sleep like this and I'll show you the results in the morning and then I'll probably call it a day because this vlog has been insanely long. <laughs> I mean, I think I need to, I've seen people do a roller and then go down and I think I might do that next time because the front bits are looking odd. Um, but yeah, love the heatless curls so far. I should probably spray, should probably hairspray them. But anyway, yeah, that's the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next week.